a computer or a phone or even this remote? What if I was the machine? My name is Ria Shetty and I'm going to be speaking about neural implantation technology, brain chips. When I was 12, I wrote a story about parents being able to selectively choose and control their child's personality through a chip. The topic was the futuristic enhancement of human potential. But we've gone to the point now where such technology is more reality than science fiction. With major companies such as Synchron, an Australian startup, and Elon Musk's Neuralink starting human trials, it is about time we consider what this means for society, for our future. Our future, brain. So what is neural implantation technology and how can it transform Australian society? There are three key things to think about here. One, the technology itself. Two, its impact from a medicine perspective. And three, its social potential. The fundamental basis of this technology is artificially creating, recording, and mimicking the brain's electrical signals through a brain-computer interface, the chip. Once the chip is inserted into the brain, its electrodes are able to connect to, receive information from, and electrically stimulate the brain's neurons. From a medical perspective, this technology has revolutionary potential. Imagine being unable to speak. Imagine being not able to see, not able to hear, not able to move, and not able to think. Imagine being trapped in your own body. Neurodegenerative disorders occur when the cells in the brain and central nervous system gradually degrade and die, leaving you without the ability to move, think, feel, and behave. If we specifically target these damaged cells and restore them artificially using electric chip signals, we could potentially regain movement in paralyzed patients, reconnect lost memories in those suffering from Alzheimer's, and much more. We could also project this to an even sooner circumstance in which those with severe paralysis are able to comfortably communicate, to send texts, to send emails, online shop, etc., all using only their mind and thoughts. Now, what if we extend this even further to general society? A world in which we can all communicate telepathically with increased cognitive abilities, with the, with the internet and information simply stored in our brains. Imagine that. But is this crossing a line? With such potential comes ethical concerns. Are we interfering with nature? Are there security and privacy risks? Is it dangerous? What does it mean to live in a world so dependent on chip technology? In that story I wrote when I was 12, the parents put a chip in their daughter to always make her happy. They wanted a happy child. But all the chip did was control her facial expressions and make her look happy. She wasn't happy, but the chip made her smile. A twisted outcome and a reminder for us to be careful. So I encourage you all to think about brain chips, how we can benefit from them, both medically and socially, but also the risks. And I want you guys to think about this today. With all this potential within reach, at our fingertips, when do we stop? Thank you.